tell the tale of Sweeney Todd His skin was pale and his eye was odd He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again Demon Barber himself, Aaron Tveit, is currently playing alongside Sutton Foster as Mrs. Lovett at the Lund Fontan Theatre. Each performance, the two Tony Award winners baked together, is a recipe of thrills, chills, and comedy. Sweeney Todd's my favorite show of all time. It's like, and I, and to be able to introduce it to a whole new slew, slew of audiences is very, very exciting. The current revival opened in March of last year. Murderous plot sweeps us back to 19th century London. A barber out for revenge slits customers' throats. His accomplice, Mrs. Lovett, turned the victims into meat pies for sale in her shop. Tve and Sutton joined the cast on February 9th. I want to rename this show. It should be Sweeney Todd The Rock Concert. <laughs> because the night I was there, the entrance applause. Are you experiencing that every night? Yeah, it feels like a lot of people have never seen the show before who are coming in with, you know, the energy in a lot of a lot of theater that you go to now that have younger audiences. That's kind of the energy you feel. It's the way they receive, I think, the, the show every night. I went to a bakery yesterday and there were two girls, young girls from high school that followed me in and they were like, we just wanted to talk to you because we are such big Sweeney Todd fans and our entire school is obsessed with the show. And I was like, this is awesome. Like these, That's all these amazing. young people discovering it. I mean, I remember the first time I saw the show and I, you know, I had, I had watched the PBS special, right? I had seen the Angel Lansbury, George Hearn, you know, taped version of the original production. And, but I remember the first time sitting in the theater and how I felt. So to be able to do that and feel that we're doing that every night to a new group of people is really special. Yeah. I mean, these are dream roles. Mrs. Lovett, Sweeney Todd. <laughs> I never even thought it was possible. Same for me. I mean, it's something I've definitely always looked at, right? You're just like looking up this mountain. Yeah. Like, wow, that must be challenging and fun. and. But the same, but I didn't think it was going to happen, or if it was going to happen, it wouldn't be anytime soon. And then, yeah, they presented it and said that they had asked something to do it as well. And I was like, well, yeah, like, <laughs> come on. No canary in a cage for me. This canary's ready to fly free. I understand you were a big Sutton fan even before getting into the business, right? Yes, I was. You were? I was. I'm finding this out now? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> no, I saw, I mean, I saw Millie um, the fall when I was still in college. I was totally rocked by the show and by Sutton. And I just thought like, wow, that is something very special that's happening on stage. And mm -hmm. seeing somebody who, you know, was like a this emerging, exploding young talent that I just thought like, wow, that's somebody that's going to do a lot of things. And, <laughs> and then somehow I'm on stage with her every day. The dynamic between the two of you, this is a match made in heaven. And watching you guys perform these roles and you tr trying not to break and you're so good and you're so funny. It feels very safe. It feels very alive. It feels like we're always finding each other. It, it is never, that is never a given, you know, how you, how you meet a fellow actor, how you create. We were very lucky that we were put in at the same time, we were, it was just the two of us rehearsing for four weeks. And I, I feel like we built up a lot of trust. The day we started, it was like, oh, you got yours. Okay, we got each other, let's go. We both just sort of jumped in with two feet. Yeah. I think your very first performance, Patty was there or your first weekend, Patty LaPone showed up. She was there at the third show. I mean, I revere her, I, she's my, and I was being wheeled on to do worse pies. And I'm like, Pat you know and I'm like all right how do I deal with this <laughs> and then I was just like yeah I'm, I'm I'm still that 15 year old kid who watched her on my television sing being alive at the Sondheim celebration and going I want to do that I want to be that and now she's in the audience watching you know it is a little bit of a mind explosion do you have a moment that you look forward to the most every single night when uh, you're prepping to go out onto that stage I think my favorite moment is and what you were saying about how kind of raucous the audience is at the end of the play, in the final scene, how deafeningly quiet they are is, is kind of, I, I think, the antithesis of how wild they are the rest of the show. I, I love that moment. That, you, that you could cut the silence with a knife them. in the theater. The one thing I love about the two of you, you guys are at the top of your game. You are the stars of Broadway right now, and yet you are so kind 
You are such an inspiration to young folks. I just feel such a sense of gratitude, especially after um, theater being non-existent for a, for a while, especially coming back. And, and I just feel so lucky. And I know how fleeting it is. And I also know that we are a 1% a of people who want to do what we're doing. And I, I, I just, I don't want to take one moment for granted. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.